Hi everyone, this is Virgil Carroll from High Monkey Consulting with another posting of Monkey Bites. And uh, this posting is going to continue my talk on the uh, new calendar in SharePoint 2010 and some of the things that we can do from a user per experience perspective. Uh, as you remember last time we kind of talked about it that we were able to uh, use the new calendar overlay feature to be able to take kind of this drab looking calendar here with just one color kind of everything blending together and be able to make a better client calendar visually things kind of differentiate some and we're able to very easily separate out my stuff from uh, the stuff of other things that I'm not assigned to well one of the things that you'll see here when we're looking at the default thing and one of the things that is really big is about color and why we use color and what it is you know everybody always talks about mixing it up or we need branding or we need this and stuff but why do we really use color well from a user usability perspective really we look at color as something to help us differentiate content otherwise differentiate this information from that information and the reason that's important is because of the way our eyes work and the way we kind of look at things and you look at this calendar right here and you see that everything kind of blends together so one of the things that you notice if you've ever done any type of usability testing is that if we were to have somebody actually study this and let's say that I wanted them to find team B sales plan in that on this calendar you would find that people would have a very difficult time finding it because I have to scan through and without that differentiator of color or something to add some kind of contrast it would take me a while to kind of scan through and go through and so this provides a lot of problems when we look at especially a lot of things that come out of SharePoint because yeah complementary colors can be very helpful but overall one of the problems is that they tend to not be able to uh, allow a very good user experience so one of the things you can do now is you have this new ability with the calendar overlays to not only be able to pull uh, different colors together but also be able to uh, kind of create a better differentiation around that so if you ever want a really good example of uh, kind of a, a, a part of the the business community that does a great job with this check out magazines because magazines are actually absolute experts in being able to put things with different colors different fonts different styles all on the same page Page, and you think that they do that just to kind of give you that wow factor when also they do it because they have found that it creates more readability from the user so so let's look at this calendar like we did last time kind of looking at it with the out-of-the-box colors we can use using the color overlay again just as a reminder this is a calendar that we have um, uh, kind of going along here we have all the different colors that go into it um, and to represent different parts coming out of this calendar so from from my stuff to people that are going to be out of the office trade show client meetings all those different pieces things that I really have a problem with this is that overall as I look at this again and again over time you'll see some of the things like these ice blues that they have in here you'll notice that that really kind of blends in with the top layer here that you see there that actually goes around there and you'll see that many of the colors are very complementary to one another in that so again when we start talking about it from a color perspective people can very easily look at things and be able to differentiate when you have contrasting colors in there so one of the cool things that you can do in SharePoint 2010 also is you can actually override these colors I wish I could say this was a really easy process but the fact of the matter is it's not but it is something that's possible and now with having such a great thing in SharePoint Designer 2010 we can actually possibly enable this for some of our power users out there to actually be able to go in and do this stuff so we're gonna walk through just a little bit about what it takes but first I'm gonna talk to you about what you don't want to do here's the thing color is a very tricky thing in that and I don't know how many times I've went into different organizations and the one big thing I've seen is that uh, somebody thinks they understand color and they understand how to use color and then they end up building something that is just not very nice to look at so we're gonna look at another version now this is definitely the the contrast of the rule I mean this is a very extreme but you don't know how many times I've actually went into organizations that have used these type of color differentiators saying, wow, this is really great. And this really goes back to the MySpace generation and everybody being able to build up their own MySpace profile and being able to do things and look at it differently in there. So one of the things we also want to note is that where, yes, having more contrast like you see here can be very valuable. 
sometimes we can do it too much and where maybe looking at this screen once in a while wouldn't be that bad imagine if it was part of something that you looked at on a very regular basis just how disturbing this would be for your users and that so instead what we want to do is we want to look at trying to balance that both complementary colors and contrast colors and really build something of value so let's take a look at another view here that we've built and you'll see here that we actually now we've integrated some of our own custom colors into this and we brought in some different things but the big thing that you should kind of note on this is that we really have a lot more contrast on these colors so it's much easier to differentiate between each different type of activity and what it is and visually from a user perspective if now I was asked so I'm going to look for that team B meeting there I will much quicker be able to notice that it's not the things around it but instead narrow into it so how do we do this well I'm gonna show you the basics of it and then we're actually gonna do a follow-up posting uh, one of my staff members to be able to look at it and actually show you how exactly would be the best practice but to be able to show this I'm actually gonna flip into uh, SharePoint designer and in SharePoint Designer in 2010, I'm connected to my site. I have my list and libraries there. And what I've done is I've went down to this view that I've created. And actually, I have edited the view page that goes along with this view to be able to add the different colors. And you'll find that all the different calendar colors are, are actually just styles that we can do through CSS styling in that. And you'll see that for each one, we're able to actually add a background color, a border, different things like that and how that kind of goes through that for each of it now there are 10 different colors that we can have so you'll see that actually as we scroll through here we're actually going through the entire thing and um, uh, what it might mean uh, to be able to do these things now the one thing I will tell you is that after you do this if you don't have the ability to reset your 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 SharePoint system otherwise clear out the cache on your SharePoint system then what you're gonna have to do is after you make this change you're probably gonna have to wait a short amount of time for the for the cache to clear itself before you'll actually see this come up and so again this posting here is not really about showing you how to do this this is kinda of talking about why we do it but what we will do is we will come back with a post and show you how to do this because one of the things we did here is that I actually did this inside the page itself which for this view that we're looking at right here is very good but overall if you wanted to use some standard colors and make some standard changes uh, to apply to either a site or your entire organization you're going to want to actually do that into the master page itself and you're actually going to want to create a style sheet and we'll show you how to do that but again kind of narrowing back on the reason we do this and it's not just about making things look cool it's actually about making them more readable and if you have things that people are going to have to look at a lot making them re more readable can be a very big difference in kind of that overall user experience and you might look at this and go well you know all these colors don't really match up but the reality is that from a readability perspective I can quickly differentiate between the different types of objects in here and be able to quickly look through and what you would find if you did a usability test is that you would find that users end up being able to find things much quicker and actually have a better overall experience so thank you very much for this one look forward to talking to you the next monkey bite